Good afternoon, you're with Ken Screen. I'm joined today by the team that brought you the exciting new web series, Whatever Linda. I guess just to jump right into it, what was it about the Bernie Madoff Ponzi scandal that appealed to you as source material for a web series? I think it started off being about how could this guy have built so many renowned, reputable, rich people for over 30 years, and it just seemed like such an, an interesting concept. And then two, well, when we sort of researched and figured out that there was this floor where it happened, he had this legitimate business and an illegitimate business, this floor that no one knew about, and it was staffed by sort of these unassuming women. We thought that would be such a great place for a show. Ken and I have known each other for 10 years, we just wanted an excuse to, to work together, and I think this time also write together, and not just act, but, but to work together as writers. And uh, so, we also have many female friends of ours who are brilliant actresses, and it was just an opportunity to get everyone together. Originally it was going to be a play, and then we thought, well, that would probably just bankrupt us. So, you know, we had heard of this fund, the Independent Production Fund, and so we thought, well, what if we sort of meld the, the two worlds together? We were kind of like, why don't we do a web series that could possibly bankrupt us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, no, but I will, I will say that part of what was interesting about it, too, is... Uh, you know, greed is a really interesting and topical thing. You know, like it, 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 it was topical back in 1978 and it is today as well. So obviously when you're doing a period piece, a lot of research must go into that kind of thing. Did you guys actually get in touch with anyone who was involved in the actual scandal? No, we did sort of the research, we've been following the case currently and sort of how it all played out because a lot of these people went to trial and a lot of them now going to jail. We um, also spoke to a, a yes. someone who works in the finance world and, and intimately got a sense of what that would have entailed, uh, how it's possible that that went under the radar for so long mm -hmm. with so much money, and what that means in terms of who's complicit in this and, and that sort of thing. He sort of gave us the background and then we took our own liberties and fleshed out the world and sort of found these distinct characters that would help us move the story along but also would have their own interesting stories and could interact um, with each other in a really cool way. We had an amazing um, costume designer, Joanna Saracomla, who was fantastic and she made sure that absolutely everything was appropriate to the year 1978. There was no hint of 1977 or 79. Like, she was really super on point. Like Jessica Panetta, um, uh, Nathan McHare, David Heyman, the music consultant, just finding these weird old tracks that were kind of specific to the era. And, yeah, so we definitely did uh, a lot of research and we found a great location that kind of, it was an old warehouse that actually had like kind of an office that was previously dressed up to be a 1960s office, but it wasn't that hard to kind of sort of say, well, it could be 1978. So I believe you guys shot exteriors in New York and the rest was in studio in Toronto? It did. Three quick kind of gorilla days. Gorilla, like, but well planned. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I had kind of done some research on kind of little slivers of New York that were untouched and still looked like they could be in 1978, which was tricky because you know New York has changed so much. But we found these little sort of pockets, and we went down there, and it was it was pretty funny. It was basically me, Anna, and the DP on uh, the subway. I had a suitcase full of uh, clothes, and, and so we would get a shot, and then kind of Hannah would go into a coffee shop and change into something else, and then we'd run out again and grab another shot. Uh, a few. Um, subway stops down, down, the, down the way, and, and that's how we sort of did it. You guys also released it through uh, whateverlinda.com in a bit of a different way, right? In our EP on this, um, he had this idea like, um, a year and a half ago, two, two years ago, I don't remember, to create this player that's like a social sharing player. So you embed it in your, web so, your website, and when you press pause at any time, two windows pop up and you can share a six or 15 second clip on Instagram or Twitter or any of those Vine, things like that, and then, or you can just share the still, and you can, um, it just instantly lets you create memes, so when you watch it on our website, um, it does all the work for you to create memes, and you can just do it, so you, you love, you know, our, 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 our two dicks joke, you can, like, take that six seconds and share it with everyone. Hannah, yes. can you tell us a bit about Linda? What kind of prep went into that character if it's sort of you're drawing up people in your life or other characters mm -hmm. that you admire? In terms of prep, I, I I looked at, you know, some of the 
some of the movies that we were referencing at the time. But I also did things like, you know, I, I spoke to my mom quite a bit about what it was like for her. She was probably four years younger than Linda would have been in 1978. You know, just wondering what it would have been like to be divorced at that age, at that time. Wondering what kind of job options were actually available for women. So for me, it was about trying to get into the mindset of what the expectations were on a woman and what she internalized for herself at that time. And did a lot of backstory, a lot of back writing about like where I think she came from and these sort of like classic actor moves. Your favorite scenes or things that stand out and that question apply to everyone who would like that answer. Right? I gotta say when it was Hannah and Julian Richings in that room and they were squaring off, I, I had goosebumps and to be able to write a scene like that and have those two go at it. When I look at that I, I just go, boy we did some something good here. It feels really good. I'm gonna say that I love the Henry episode. I love it. It's so romantic, it's so funny, it's so like what you want a first date to be, and then it turns so dark. Oh, so I really like uh, Linda and Annabelle in episode 9, where, no spoilers, but with the Tom Lady invoice and just the sort of showdown between them there. What's up next for whatever Linda? Getting it out into the world, getting the right people see it and then from there I think things will fall into place. Um, obviously in terms of the, the creative side of it, you know, we, we kind of know where we want it to go so it depends on getting that audience and what that, that brings for us. I want it to be a TV show, let's be frank, right? I mean that's the holy grail I think. When we say TV show though we're not, we're also talking about like living on the in the digital world, long format is also a, a dream. I always say this, like, I want to go home with Dee Dee. I want to go home with Annabelle. I want to see, you know, it's a web. We only have an hour, so we're with Linda the whole time. And, um, you know, it's an ensemble cast. I hope that that's what's next, that we get to a chance to tell that larger story. Yeah, and move it beyond the one floor, and, and let's see what this business is, and let's see who Barney, so, you know, I, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> another decade, another another story to tell. So yeah. Uh, again, I'm joined by the team behind Whatever Linda, and you can watch that at whateverlinda.com or on YouTube. Uh, I suggest whateverlinda.com. It's very slick. It's a nice website. Uh, and thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank Thank you. Pleasure. 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 Best of luck. Hope to hear and see more. Yes, sure. indeed. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Cheerio. 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 Cheerio.